In this video, we'll take a look at how to insert and delete variables into our data view window. So in this example here, notice we have the variable gender, and on gender we have 20 different participants, and then we have these various questions, Q1, Q2, Q3, and so forth. And here we've got a multiple choice test where one indicates that the question was answered correctly, and zero indicates that the question was not answered correctly. And we're not really going to be doing anything with these items, but it is very helpful to get more exposure to different types of data files. And this is one type of data file you could have where you have questions on an exam where they're either correct, one, or incorrect, zero. And then we might end up adding together all the answers or all the variables to find a person's total score. But here in this video, what I want to focus on is both adding and deleting variables to give you additional practice at managing your data files. So notice here I have Q1, Q2, Q3, three questions, Q5, 6, 7, and 8. It looks like question 4, for one reason or another, is missing. So what I want to do is insert a variable Q4 right in between Q3 and Q5, and then into those data that I didn't have in my data file. So let's go ahead and try this the following way and see what happens. If I select the item Q3, so I'm selecting the column heading here it's called, you can select any variable by just clicking on the column heading or the gray area where the name is. So we'll select Q3 and then you can actually do this a number of different ways. I can uh, go to edit and I can select insert variable or I could go up here to the toolbar button and notice it displays a toolbar tip insert variable I could do that or I could even right click the mouse and select insert variable and I show you these three ways so that you can decide which way works best for you and you see that there's various options so to be most transparent here I think I'll go to the menu bar here select edit and click on insert variable. So let's see what happens here. And notice a variable is inserted here and it's called variable 00001 by default. But look what it did. It inserted it between Q2 and Q3. And I wanted it though between Q3 and Q5. So that's not really what I wanted. So I'm going to undo that. And uh, what you can do is you can go to edit undo but I want to take a moment here to show you also the shortcut key. If you're not familiar with shortcut keys, those can be found, the commands for them, to the right of the option on a given menu. So notice this says Control plus Z. And what that means is if you press and hold the Control key, assuming you're using a Windows-based computer, for a Mac it should be the Command key. But if you press and hold the Control key and then press the letter Z, that will undo the action. So let's try that. I'm going to press and hold control and then press Z once and notice it disappeared. So it undid that. Or we could go and let me redo this here. I'll insert my variable or I could go to edit and I'll do it this way here as well. Undo and that'll take care of that. So when I selected Q3 it didn't insert a new variable to the right of Q3, but instead it inserted that variable to the left of Q3. So you want to ask yourself, what variable do you want to select to get it inserted between Q5 and Q3? We would want to select Q5. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll go to Edit, and then Insert Variable. Now we have our variable here that we want, right in between these two. I'll double click on the variable name, and that will take me to the variable view window and here I'll just type Q4 and then press enter and then let's go back to the data view tab and now you see we have our new variable there appropriately named and I could go ahead and enter my values which I won't do here in this tutorial but we could go ahead and do that okay so that's how you insert a variable now let's take a look at a couple other things we could delete a variable if we wanted to or more than one variable let's go ahead and delete Q7 and Q8 just for practice so to select two columns at once I press and hold on Q7 with the left mouse button and then just drag and that grabs Q8 
And I can actually do that for as many number of columns that I want at a time. I can just keep going. Okay, but we want Q7 and Q8, so we'll just select those. And then here I can do a number of things. Uh, to delete it, one of the fastest ways is just to right click the mouse. The shortcut menu opens here, and I can just select clear. So let's go ahead and do that. Or if I do undo control Z for practice there, I could go to, with these two columns selected, I could go to edit and then clear, and that'll get rid of them as well. Okay, but I'm going to bring those back. We want to keep those for now. So control Z, once again, brings them back, or command Z for a Mac. There's one other thing I want to show you here in this tutorial, and that is suppose we wanted to move a variable. So let's say we have the variable gender, and I find that we want to have gender at the end of our data file and just have our questions at the beginning here. Well, I could do that by selecting gender, and then I'll go to the menu bar this time. Go to Edit, and then Cut. Notice the shortcut key is Control x Cut, and then let's go ahead and select the last, the column to the right of Q8, and then we'll go to Edit again and then paste, which notices control V. So paste. And then if you get these question marks, just click outside of it, and then we see the values appear. Okay, so that's how we move a variable. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, also, with inserting variables, you only can insert one variable at a time. But when we look at cases, inserting cases, which we'll do in another video, you can see that you can insert multiple cases at once. So with variables, it's just one at a time. I could select, for example, all these columns and click Insert Variable. And let's see if we can get more than one variable or not. Only one variable is inserted, as I had said before. So that's all you can do. But when you insert cases, you can insert more than one at a time, as I would said. Okay, but that's it for this video. We'll take a look at Insert Cases in our next video.